Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to add a Cupertino action sheet. So this is basically a little pop-up or a little menu that comes from the bottom, gives you a few options, usually have a, has a cancel button and it's in the iOS style. To do it, it's really simple. Make sure you follow the setup video and first of all we are going to add a child. I'm going to be a rebel and add a raise button but I'm going to be triggering an iOS style widget. So you, it doesn't have to be triggered by an iOS style widget. You can mix and match, it's totally up to you. So I'm gonna do child, so this one will put text. And I'll say click me. Then I'm gonna say arm pressed. There's gonna be a method here. And here, I'm gonna just say final ACT, so this is just short for action sheet. And I'm gonna do equals to Cupertino action sheet. A semicolon there. I'm going to say title text and I'm going to say this is I'm going to say what would no food choices food choices so okay and then we can have a method the method is to simply expand on the title and provide a bit more information of what the pop-up is there for but it's optional you don't have to have it we're going to have text and I'm just going to say do, 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 do. Hmm. what should I say? I'm going to say what would you like to eat? And now we can actually customize it with the button. So we do actions, it's just a, an array of widgets. And in this, we put Cupertino, Cupertino action sheet action. And in this, there's you obviously you can mem, you know experiment with these, and I recommend that you do. But we're interested in child and on press because it's a regular widget. You could add a container, you could add you know images, you could add text, you could add whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it simple and just add a child in there. I mean a text child, and this is gonna say pizza. And then I'll say on pressed, and when it says press, it was gonna print out. You have selected pizza and then you semicolon to add another button, basically the same as this. And you can add as many as you want. I'm just going to add two. And for this, also, what other food items will we have? Instead of pizza, let's have cookie dough. So, a savory and a sweet. You have selected cookie dough. And um, if we now to add a cancel button after the square brackets or after the actions, you do cancel button. And this is also a Cupertino action sheet. And in here, we need a child. Again, you could have any sort of widget you want. I'm going to put the text cancel, just keep it simple. You say on pressed. So when it's on pressed, we we need to hide it. And to hide it, it's actually pretty simple to be fair. All we have to do is navigator dot pop context. So it basically just closes what's you know currently open, just gets rid of that, it just pops it. And because this will be the current thing that is open. And now if we were to save it, let's see what we get. So we get this button, we click it, nothing happened because we've created it but we haven't actually triggered it. So after the Cupertino action sheet, but before we close, and uh, the curly brace refers to, yep, yeah, but before we exit out of the unpressed action, we need to trigger it. To do it, we call this show Cu Cupertino modal pop-up. And what we wanna do here is for the context, we need to provide context, which is, this right here, there's nothing that we've created necessarily. And for the builder, this is where we actually do it. And for the builder, we're gonna say, build context, context, we use the arrow operator, put ACT or whatever you named the 15 or action sheet. And what's, what does that look like? There we go, semicolon was missing. Save that, go back, click it. As you can see, this pops up now. If I click pizza, 
it said you have selected pizza, 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 pizza. And then you press say cookie dough, cookie dough, and you can say you have selected cookie dough. So I press cancel, it cancels it, doesn't print anything out because in here we didn't print anything out. If you wanted to, you could add more functionality upon cancel, maybe it saved something. But you can also click off it and hide it like that. But it's also usually commonplace to let's say select one of these, these items, whatever they may be, and then close this as well, and then perform the action. So to close it again, you just use this piece of code. So I'm just gonna add it for the pizza as an extra it's a really simple task you can do for the cookie dough. So if I save that and I go to click main, click cookie dough, as you can see, that's not closing. Click pizza, you'll print out your selected pizza and then close it using the navigator.pop code. So that is it for the Cupertino action sheet. And I also showed you the Cupertino action sheet actions. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.